Now that you've seen how Couchbase high availability and disaster recovery features can meet virtually any recovery point and recovery time goal, let's take a closer look at how each of these features work. The data service is the heart of Couchbase. Rack zone awareness in your buckets ensures your documents remain safe and available. Each node can be assigned to a logical group based on their physical location in your network. Active and replica documents are automatically placed in different groups. If a group, meaning a particular physical rack or virtual zone, fails, replicas are ensured to activate because they are on racks and zones that remain online and running. Rebalancing and re-replication are initiated administratively, when appropriate for the state of your system as you bring things back online. Of course, Couchbase is comprised of multiple services beyond the data service. Indexes created by the index service, using Nickel, are partitioned across nodes. The same is true for search service indexes. Now, just like documents, these index partitions can be replicated for high availability. If they are, rack and zone placement are respected for these partitions, just as for document replicas. You specify the number of index service replicas during index creation, either as just a replica count, leaving the placement automatic, or if appropriate, specifying particular nodes for partition placement. Search service replica count is specified when you define the index. Partition placement is automatic by default, but also configurable via REST. Index partitions are managed for you. If you remove a node, its partitions are migrated to another appropriate node. If you fail over a node, replicas for its partitions activate from another rack or zone. Re-replication of the activated replicas happens when you rebalance. Note, though, that partitions do not automatically migrate when you add a new node. This is to preserve your control over your network. Okay, so that explains a bit about data and indexes. What about queries? How do we ensure their high availability? Well, that's pretty straightforward, really. See, the query service is stateless. It's relying on the stateful data and indexes from the other services. So we ensure high availability for queries by providing seamless load balancing across all nodes exposing the query service. Cross data center replication is another major factor ensuring high availability and disaster recovery. XDCR is secure, continuous, memory-to-memory -memory replication set up as pipelines between two buckets in different clusters. Now, these pipes are SSL encrypted and implemented with DCP. That's the database change protocol introduced earlier in this course. Now, XDCR is simple because it's neutral as to the cluster topology on each end of a replication. Just target two buckets. It's efficient as only the most recent mutation in a series streams across. It's also filterable, letting you configure pipelines to only allow certain document ID patterns to flow through. And it's resilient. Because it uses DCP, you can pause, resume, and rewind to any checkpoint, ensuring no-loss auto-recovery to the most recent checkpoint on any node, rack, or zone failure. So why might you use XDCR? Well, for high availability. In addition to replication for durability of your data, you can also locate data centers to ensure optimal access by region. Also, for disaster recovery, by keeping hot standbys available for resilient application rerouting on request timeout. And then, of course, also as an easy way to stream off data pools for analysis and development needs. So how can you go about constructing your XDCR plumbing? Well, these bucket-to-bucket -bucket pipelines can be unidirectional, bidirectional for a master-master configuration, or a hybrid of both. When you add in the fact that these can be filtered by document ID, you've got a lot of control over your data pipes. We've said node administration needs zero downtime. Let's visualize this. 
Nodes can be added to a cluster via either UI or REST. And when you do so, data service V buckets are recalculated, and then documents incrementally transfer. Throughout the transfer process, there are ongoing cluster map updates to ensure clients have the most current service and data configuration. As a result, there's zero downtime as you add a node to any service. Now, while this illustration shows rebalancing for the data service, as we said earlier, both the index and search services also rebalance their index partitions using an analogous approach, giving you zero downtime over all three stateful services, data, index, and search. Similar behavior happens in reverse if a node fails. The failover process can be either manual or automatic, that's your choice. Now, when failover happens, replicas are promoted and cluster maps are updated. Rebalancing can be initiated at that time or deferred if there's a risk of cascading failure. The Couchbase SDKs provide features to support resilient application design patterns. Read operations can run against active or replica data. It's your choice, meaning you don't have to wait for failover and promotion if you don't want to. Read-write operations can also be run against any relevant service node in your cluster. Again, it's your choice. In fact, if you configure XDCR for bidirectional master-master replication, you can write to not only any node, but any cluster in your entire system. You have immediate consistency on your target cluster and eventual consistency on the rest at the speed of your network. You can also configure auto retry on any read failure for as little as 5 milliseconds. So bounce your request to a hot standby data center. Nonetheless, Godzilla and company may still simultaneously wipe out all your data centers. For this scenario, we provide an enterprise-grade backup and restore tool, CB Backup Manager, enabling both full and incremental backup with merge, remove, and restore support, and with backup and restoration of not only data and configuration, but also indexes and aggregate view scripts. All this is managed in archives in a repository and with very high performance, even on very large data sets. Or, if you're just giving Couchbase a tryout using the Community Edition, there are open source tools as well, CB Backup, CB Restore, and CB Transfer. So what have we learned here? Well, Couchbase keeps your data available through Rack Zone Aware replication and cross data center replication. We provide zero downtime administration with optional automatic failover, and our SDKs support resilient application design patterns. We also give you the tools you need in case of disaster, with XDCR to maintain either hot or cold standby data centers, and full or incremental archived backup and restore capabilities for when Godzilla and company strike. Speaking of tools, next up, we'll survey where to put your hands on the couch-based tools for cluster administration in case you're itching to get started playing around with this. Come on back.